Hello everybody and welcome to Seminole, Oklahoma. As tonight your Preg Red Devils will face the Chandler Lions in the first round of the Route 66 Conference Tournament. Currently the seating is Preg is seated number two in the tournament and Chandler seated number seven. A couple things we're going to go over before we start the game. we got about three minutes until tip is don't forget the girls play tomorrow here at 6.40 p.m. And they will play the McLeod Redskins, which is the four versus five seed, Preg being the five, McLeod being the four seed. Tonight, if the boys win, they will play Thursday at 5.20 against the winner of McLeod and Holdenville. If they lose tonight, they will play Friday at 5.20 versus the loser of the said game of uh, McLeod and Holdenville. Again, welcome everybody. It's Mike and Trill coming live to you from Seminole, Oklahoma. About two minutes and 20 seconds left, and then we'll get this thing tipped off and get it going. Okay, again, Mike Cottrell here live from Seminole. The first game of the Conference 66 tournament, Preg versus Chandler. Minute left. We'll get the starting lineups going here in a second. But again, welcome everybody to, to the live stream at PregRedDevils.tv, where hopefully we'll make pretty much every varsity game that they'll allow us to come to um, and stream them for the people that can't make it to the games due to work, health conditions, COVID. You know, they're only letting 20% of the people in here, so they say... I haven't seen them turn anybody away, but anyways, we're going to get the starting five going on here real quick. Looks like Chandler will be the home team. As the announcer stating, again, 7th versus 2 seed. Starting lineup first for the Chandler Lions. Number 11, Caden Jones. Number 12, Brady Butler. Number 15, Chase Campbell. Number 20, Kyler Henley. And number 24, Marcus Minshaw. The... Um, Lions are coached by Sean Blankenship and assisted by Alex Reed. And now, the starting lineup for the Prague Red Devils. Sophomore, number three, Bluston Miller. Sophomore, number four, Eli Bias. Junior, number 10, Nate Lester, looking good with the fresh haircut. And the floor general, junior, number 14, Trip Davis. And last but not least, sophomore, number 30, Peyton Ezel. Head coach for the Prague Red Devils is Nate Greer, assisted by A.J. Woodall. So it looks like uh, Nate Lester will jump for the Red Devils. He'll be jumping against number 11, Caden Jones. Prague wearing the white, red letters. Chandler wearing the blue with the red letters. 
Chandler left to right, Preg right to left. Let's get it on. Lester easily wins the tip back to Bluston Miller. Good pass down to Eli Bias who goes up strong on the right block and it's a clean block. It's number 20. Kyler Henley for the block for the Lions. Butler with the two-point shot for the Lions to give them the early lead in the first two points of the game. Trip Davis driving baseline, and he'll get the floater from the left-hand side. That'll be the first two points for Preg tonight. Just under a minute gone by in the first quarter. Tie ball game at two. That's 24. Marcus Minshaw with a three-point attempt off the front of the rim, and it'll go out of bounds. Preg ball. Davis will drive in the middle of the lane. He'll shoot from just inside the free throw line off the mark. Number 11, Jones, comes down with the rebound for Chandler. That'll be the one to keep their eyes on, number 11, Caden Jones. That's kind of like their uh, main man there. So we've played him once or twice already. As that's number 15, Chase Campbell driving in the middle of the lane. Shot does not go, but he will be fouled. Number 30, Peyton Zell picks up his first personal foul, and that'll be the first team foul and the first foul of the game. Campbell hits the first. And the second. Two to four year score, Chandler leading Preg early on in the game. Three-point attempt from the top of the key by Lester's off to Mark Campbell with a rebound for the Lions. Three attempt, that's number 12. Brady Butler with the chance, rebound Prig. Prig swings the ball around pretty well. Ezell gets a wide open attempt from the corner of the free throw line that doesn't go. Rebound Chandler. They're playing a pretty good zone there. As, as Jones goes up strong to the hoop, it won't go, but he'll, t he'll be fouled. Caden Jones, number 11, will shoot two. Eli Bias picks up his first personal foul and the second team foul for Preg. Jones hits the first. I think we did this when we played him last time. Got down pretty uh, pretty decent early on as Caden hits the second free throw. Six to two, your score. Preg down four. Five minutes left in the first quarter. Nate Lester from the right wing for three. It rattles off the front and the back rim. Rebound number 15, Chase Campbell. Butler again from the three from the corner. It's going to be off. Davis drives, gets partially blocked, and I don't know. I don't know. It's really like him to do that. As, oh, good steal, Eli Bias right there. Is able to pick the pocket of him. Blessed Miller will take a two-point jump shot from the right corner. It's off the mark. Rebound Jones.
Looks like Prague's going to make their first sub here in a second. Number 25, Cameron Hightower is going to come in. He usually comes in for uh, Eli Bias, but we'll see what Coach Greer is going to do here in a minute. Near still right there by Prague. That's Butler from the corner for three. It's a little hard off the mark. Ball's pinged around, and Nate Lester comes up with it for the Devils. Looks like Chandler switched to a man-to-man -to -man type defense now. Oh, good pass right there. Uh, Bias can't get the layup to go. Rebound number 15, Chase Campbell. Oh, that was a great pass by Peyton there. Three eighteen left in the first quarter. Prague looks like Prague's playing uh, man to man here. Mitchu for two, and it's good. Marcus Minshaw, sorry, not Minshew, Minshaw. And breaks down six now. Had a few really good looks, but just couldn't get it to go in. Lester's going to drive here on the right-hand side of the lane. His layup will be good. 2.20 left in the first quarter. That'll break our little scoring drought we had there. Maybe that'll start a snowball effect here. Again, Preg playing man-to-man. -man. If I remember right, Chandler does like to shoot the three quite a bit. Oh, good steal. Blessed Miller. He'll go up with the right-handed lip. A little strong. It's tipped back and eventually rebounded by 15 Campbell for the Lions. And Jones is going to run with it. Straight up the middle. Of the hiss layup is short. Eli Bias is going to get it. Kick it all the way down the court to Peyton Ezell. And we get, he gets the floater to go in. And Jones wants the ball on the top of the key, you know, they'll swing it. <laughs> Jones working on Ezell. He'll get rid of it. Ooh, try to kick it down to uh, Campbell down low. Jones will drive up the middle, about five steps in the lane. Oh, no, they're going to call a push. So a foul called, a uh, non-shooting foul. Looks like it'll be on the floor. Going to be called against Nate Lester. That'll be his first personal foul. And the third team foul against Prig, yeah. Lions yet to foul. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Hightower will come in for Eli Bias. That'll be the first sub of the game. And another foul against Craig on the floor. Number 20, Kyler Hindley was driving to the lane. 25, Cameron Hightower pick up his first um, personal. And the 14th foul against Craig in the half. 49 seconds left in the quarter. Number 15, Chase Campbell with the shot from the middle of the lane. 10 to 6 is your score in favor of the Lions. Hightower's going to do a cross the lane move and throw it up left hand. It's off. Rebound number 2, Dalton Alsup. It's quickly stolen by Ezell, but he can't get the basket to go. Oh, and then Hightower picks his pocket. He'll put up the left-handed layup and count it. A couple really good steals right there by Preg. But our shooting percentage, field, field goal percentage rather, has not been very good this game so far. I think we've only made two or three field goals out of probably 15. 
as Jones takes a jump shot from the right wing. It's off the mark. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Eight to 10, break down by two. And we'll be right back with the second quarter after this. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're gonna be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation, And we're back with the start of the second quarter. <laughs> My wife said Nate needs his headband. Maybe he needs to go get his lucky, lucky headband and put it on. <laughs> so 8 to 10 is the score. Preg only down by two. Start of the second quarter. Shots off the mark and off the top of the backboard. <laughs> Thought it'd be a turnover against uh, Chandler. Sit the floor, General Trip Davis can get something going here. We need somebody to hit some big shots or something. We're gonna have a loose ball foul in the lane against the Lions. I believe they're gonna call it on number 12, Brady Butler. That's his first personal and the first team foul of the game for the Lions. Again, Chandler running this like 2 3 3 2 zone, whatever you want to call it. As Blustin Miller takes a three, his shot is to the right and short a little bit. Rebound. Rebound was by number 24, Marcus Minshaw, who chunks it down court, trying looking for Dalton Alsip, number two, and it's over his head out of bounds. Justin Miller's going to drive in the middle of the lane, throw a floater up. It's off. He gets his own rebound, goes back up, partially blocked, and Minshaw comes down for the, with the rebound for Chandler. Ooh, a lot of contact in there. Ooh, Blustin almost gets another strip. Oh. That's going to be a turnover. So Blustin, uh, Miller, and Peyton Zell kind of teamed up on Jones here down in the corner. And it was deflected off of about all three of them about two or three times and eventually goes out of bounds and the refs are going to say that it's off Chandler. Also in the lineup for the Lions, number three, Isaiah Holland. Number three, Isaiah Holland comes in for Dalton Alsip for the Lions. Davis is going to drive in the middle of the lane. He'll throw a floater up. It's off the mark. It's tipped around at number 12. Brady Butler comes down with the rebound for Chandler. 6.15 left in the half. Score still the same, 8-10. to 10. Preg down two. Big three by Minshaw from the top of the key. It's off the mark. Rebound Preg. They're going to call a foul against Chandler on the floor about the free throw line as Nate Lester was working, driving down towards that area. That's going to be number three, Isaiah Holland picking up his first personal. And the second team foul against Chandler is number 13, 
Cameron Graves checks in for the Lions. Nate Lester for three from the left wing. Hits a little short off the mark. Rebounded by number 15, Chase Campbell. And we're going to have a timeout here. 527 left in the half. Timeout Chandler Lions. Score still 10 to 8. Patient and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Welcome back to Seminole, Oklahoma. If you just tuned in, Preg Red Devils versus Chandler Lions. 527 left in the first half. Chandler leading Preg 10 to 8. So number 15, Chase Campbell with a shot about the free throw line. It's off the mark. Rebound number 10, Nate Lester for the Devils. Just hit the five-minute mark in the half. And we're going to have a reach foul committed by number 13, Cameron Graves, on Trip Davis. That's his first personal foul and the third team foul against the Lions as number 25, Cameron Hightower will take a seat, and number four, Eli Bias, will come back in for him. I feel like we're playing in slow motion for some reason. Maybe that there's not very many people here. It's really quiet in here. Well, and they might be tired. We've been playing a lot of basketball here lately. Trip Davis is going to drive right here in the middle of the lane. He'll throw up a right-handed float. Shot, it's going to be off the mark, but he'll get to shoot two as he's fouled by number 15, Chase Campbell, his first personal in the fourth team foul. Tripp's first free throw is good. The second one gets a lucky roll and goes in, so he'll tie the game as a couple of people come in for the Lions. Number 12, Brady Butler, and number 24. As that's a good steal right there by Tripp Davis. Ezell's open from the left wing for three. It's off the mark short, and Eli's going to get to it. Zell comes up with it, kicks it back out to Bluston. Nate Lester hits a floater from the near the lane. It's off the mark rebound. Jones for the Lions. That's number 20, Kyler Henley for the Lions. I think that's the first three-point shot of the game made. Trip Davis drives in. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot it there. Oh, good pass by Nate Lester right there. Good pick and roll by Eli Bias and Nate Lester. They're expecting Nate to shoot that almost every time off the pick, and Eli just rolled him and wide open. And now Preg's going to press. And they do, oh, they almost had the steal. Nate almost had it there. 3.08 left in the half. Big kick out to Jones. And it looks like the lines are going to reset here. Preg man playing man-to-man -man now in the half court. Oh, 
Oh, he walked. Jones for three from the left wing. It's off, off the back iron, and Eli Bias will come down with the rebound for the Devils. 12 to 13, your score now. Prang only down one. Ooh, good backdoor cut by Bluston Miller, and even a better pass by Tripp Davis. And a great reverse jump shot there by Miller to make that one. And Prague will finally take back the lead here. 14 to 13 with 2.20 left in the half. Wide open three for 24 Minshaw, and he hits. So Prague's lead was quickly vanished as Chandler goes back up two with two minutes left in the half. Eli, uh, Ezell's going to drive and throw up a floater in the middle of the lane that won't go. Rebound number 24, Minshaw, I think, who got that one. Or 20, I'm sorry, that's Henley that got the rebound. That ball's deflected out by number three, Bluston Miller. And the Lions will retain possession on the far end of the court near midfield, midcourt, court, midcourt. I almost, almost said field, didn't I, like you did the other night. <laughs> midfield, y'all. Oh, good pass over the head to uh, Caden Jones there. And the lead's up to four for the Lions. Trying to get it down to Eli Bias, and they do. Kicks it out to a wide open three pointer for Tripp Davis. He'll hit from the top of the key. <laughs> He'll hit from the top of the field. 17 to 18, your score. Minute left in the half. Preg down one. A oh, good strip right there by Peyton Ezell. He hits a cutting trip. Davis in the middle, and his left handed layup is good. And Preg's going to press. Minshaw for three from the left wing, and it's good. So he's getting hot. Now he's hit his last two or three shots. 22 seconds left in the half. 19 to 21 the score. And it looks like Preg's going to hold for the last shot. Lester's going to drive in the middle of the lane, and it's deflected out by three or four different players here. And Eli was just trying to get out of his way, and he stopped on him, and he's going to pick up his second foul, I think, with 3.5 seconds left in the half. Indeed, that's his second foul. Eli's second foul, and that's a 15 foul against Prague. Again, it's going to have to be a really pretty decent quick and shoot. Quick shot here by uh, the Lions with 3.5 seconds left. And that's number 15, Chase Campbell, taking that shot. So... Craig will go into the half, down by two against the uh, Chandler Lions. And Trell and I will be back here in about 10 minutes with the second half. Dream like the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash dream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on T-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics, it's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The way you used to access health care previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why the, I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? 
Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With Orthopedic Urgent Care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare or previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get 
patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your product. Welcome back to the game, y'all. Mike Contrell live from Seminole. At the, again, the first game for the boys at the start of the Route 66 conference tournament that is being hosted by Seminole. We want to thank them for doing that. This place is really, really nice. Like I said, last time we played them here and lost in the last seconds of the game, this is the first time I'd been to the new school. <laughs> I'd actually driven Trail and I to the old high school, <laughs> and I was like, there's nobody here. But I had forgot they'd built this new high school over here, but it's super, super nice in here. Anyways, we got about a minute and 25 seconds left until the uh, start of the third quarter as Prague is losing at the moment by two, 19 to 21. To the Chandler Lions so hopefully this second half will come out shooting the ball a little bit better and uh, you know running in transition the points we did score were off steals and transitions which is that's what we do and, and shoot the three but I think Tripp's the only person on our team that's hit one three this this uh, half out of about eight attempts I would say and I, I, I would guess that our field goal percentage is somewhere in the 20s we're just not making we're getting our opportunities to make them playing decent defense we're just not making the ball go in a hole so 45 seconds as the teams get together here and we'll kick off the second half here shortly. It looks like the starters for the second half for Prague will be the same starters that started the game. Number 10, Nate Lester. Number 4, Eli Bias. Number 30, Peyton Ezell. Number 3, Blaston Miller. And 14, Trip Davis. And it looks like they're going to have some changes on, looks like Minshaw. Butler Jones, Henley, and Campbell in for the Lions. They'll switch sides. Remember, Preg going left to right now. Lions going right to left. It's not a good way to start the second half. As Bluston drives and thought Ezell was going to be out there as he was cutting, and the ball was thrown too wide and out of bounds. Number 24, Minshaw, has had the hot hand for the Lions tonight. I think he hit at least three threes in the first half. It was Jones loses the handle on the ball, and then Bluston's going to come out with it, and then number 15, Chase Campbell, will steal it from him, and then Bluston will foul him. So that's our first team foul of the half, and that's Bluston's first personal. And yeah, so close to being a really good steal.
Jones driving on the right hand side. He'll go wide open for a wide open right handed layup. <laughs> and again, another turnover. I don't know what's going on tonight with the Red Devils as Nate Greer, Coach Nate Greer, calls timeout. Very much needed. 19 to 23 with 6.43 left in the third quarter. And we look like a completely different team tonight for some reason. It could be that uh, we played a lot of basketball. Let's see, what did we play this week? Trail Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and now Monday. So this will be our, what, our fourth game in six days. As they break the huddles, Preg down by four, 6.43 left in the third quarter, 19 to 23 in favor of the Lions. Preg's gonna change it up defensively. They're gonna go half court trap here. Oh, good deflection there by uh, Nate Lester. Ends up with a turnover. Trip Davis driving on the right-hand side, and the shot's way off. Hits the side of the backboard. Rebound number 20, Henley for the Lions. Ooh, that ball nearly stolen by Eli Bias there. And that's number 15, Chase Campbell, hitting the wide-open floating layup right in the middle of the uh, lane. Davis will drive. Finally, we get something going as he'll make the shot and get fouled with a chance for a three-point play here. Number 11, Caden Jones charged with the foul. That'll be his first personal and the first team foul against Chandler. As Tripp hits and converts the three-point play. So we're only down by three, and that's kind of a blessing. It probably should be a lot worse than that. 22-25 is your score with 550 left in the third quarter. High ball pressure by the Devils. Jones will pump fake, step inside the three-point line and take a jumper. It's off the mark. Rebound, Bluston Miller. Wide open th left wing three by Ezell is off. Rebound, Nate Lester for the Devils. Tripp's going to drive. He'll kick it to Lester underneath, and the reverse layup is good. So finally we're getting something going. See if we can keep it that way. Preg only down one now. And again, the high ball pressure, the half-court trap by Preg. And that's Minshaw wide open in the corner. Hits the left corner three. And that'll bring the deficit back up to uh, eight in favor of the Lions. Ezell's going to drive and hit a wide open jump shot right in the middle of the lane just inside the free throw line. And that cuts it to two. 442 left in the third quarter. Ooh. Trip Davis with the near steal. And they're going to say it's off of Davis, Chandler Ball. And we're going to have a timeout, Chandler. So 4.33 left in the third quarter. 28, Chandler, 26, Prig. Products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. And we're back after the timeout. I think it's going to be Chandler Ball in the far corner it is. Looks like there's something on the court they're getting taken care of really quick. 
as play resumes. Again, Preg in the half court trap here. It seemed to be working pretty decent. Until I said that, I gotta quit saying stuff like that. Chase Campbell for two for the Lions. Good kick out by Lester to wide open Bluston Miller who hit the three. Much needed three pointer. Maybe Bluston will get it going in the second half. He gets hot, it's hard to beat. Preg trapping. Oh, good steal by Bluston Miller and Eli Bias there. He'll kick it to Trip Davis who'll go up strong with the layup and count it. Jones is gonna pick up his second personal as Trip drives to the layup off the steal and puts it in and makes it and he'll have a chance for a three point play. Second team foul committed by Chandler this half. And again, Jones' is second personal. This trip converts a three-point play to give Preg a two-point lead. 32-30 to 30 with 3.37 left in the third quarter. As they break the plus, and ooh! They, they broke the press, and Busted Miller barely gets back in time to deflect that one out of bounds. If he doesn't tap that ball, they'll have a wide-open layup right there. Ooh, and uh, Trip Davis gets the deflection out of bounds right there. Near still. It'll, the ball will stay right there. Chandler ball. Good ball movement by the Lions. That's number 15, Chase Campbell taking the three. Busted Miller will come up with the rebound for Preg off the miss. Peyton Zell from the near corner for three and bang! Here we go, guys. Let's get it rolling. Preg gets the biggest lead of the their biggest lead of the game up by five with 2:46 left in the third quarter. And we're gonna trap as that ball is thrown out of bounds. Jones tried to get it down there to. Uh, Number 12, Brady Butler, but it's over his head and out of bounds, Preg Ball. Timeout, Coach Greer and the Red Devils. 2.22 left in the third quarter. Preg leading Chandler 35 to 30. 30 second timeout. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. And we're back after the timeout. Break still has the same people on the floor, and I think, yeah, Chandler does too. So both starting five still out there. Middle of the third quarter, 220 left. Bluston Miller from the top of the key for three, and it's off to the right rebound, number 15, Chase Campbell. Jones drives and kicks it out to a wide open, number 12. His shot's off the mark. Rebound, Bluston Miller. That was number 12, Brady Butler, that shot the three for Chandler. Peyton Zell drives the baseline. It's going to go off his foot and out of bounds. Chandler ball. Thank you. 
Ooh. Almost a double dribble as the high ball pressure by Prague again. It's good passing around the ball as Jones will take the alley-oop shot. It's off the mark rebound, Nate Lester. He'll kick it out to a wide open. They'll swing it around. I thought Bluston was going to shoot it, but it ends up in Tripp's hands. Wide open underneath the basket, and that's going to be good for two more. Prague kind of got their stuff together now. Playing pretty decent basketball at the end of the third quarter. Uh, I think Chandler's a little bit confused by this, this uh, press. Great block right there by number four, Eli Bias, as he denies Campbell the right layup. But I think this trap that Preg's playing has got Chandler a little... A great drive and a great floating shot by Eli Bias. And Preg's up by nine with 43 seconds left in the third quarter. Is that ball is stolen or deflected? It's deflected by Tripp Davis to Bluston. He puts up a floater, and he's not going to get it. And they're going to call that an offensive foul, and that is a right call right there. Bluston playing excellent defense, and he wants to shove him with his right arm. So he'll get called for his third foul, and that'll be the third team foul against Chandler this half. Oh, Tripp Davis, great pass to Bluston Miller underneath the baseline, who shoots two. And there's a whole lot of jong going on now, guys. A lot, a lot of talking and running their mouths, both teams. 41 to 30, the scores. Prague takes a commanding 11-point lead here in the third quarter with 14 seconds left. For General Tripp Davis will look for a good spot to end this third quarter on. Bluston's going to drive. He'll spin. Gets deflected as Eli Bias takes a shot. A big three from the quarter to end the quarter. Big, big three by Eli Bias here at the bottom half of the court as time expires. And Prank goes into the last quarter, leading by 14, 44 to 30. Dr. Dieselhorse works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Welcome back to Seminole, Oklahoma, as we can enter the last period of play. Preg leading Chandler 44-30 to after a big, big fourth or third quarter by the Red Devils. Tempers were flaring there at the end of the third on both sides. But it looks like we've all calmed down now. We're going to play some basketball. So let's put eight more minutes up there. Half-court pressure again by the Red Devils. That's Minshaw from three for the from the left wing. It's off the mark. Trip Davis rebound for the Red Devils. Triple drive down the middle of the lane. Gets the floater to go. Prey goes up two more. Ooh, good deflection right there by Peyton Zelda. Knock it away from number 20, Kyler Henley. Lions will retain possession on the far end about midcourt.
Minshaw for three again near the top of the key. It's off left. And Bias will track down the rebound. 6.45 left in the game. Craig leading 46 to 30. And if you're just tuning in, this was not the case the first half. We were actually down the first half, but had a huge third quarter as Nate Lester is going to get tripped up and get called for the walk. Prague again will full court press. It's like a 2-2-1 trap press. I don't know how what you call it. Not like a 1-3-1. One, one. Oh, and that ball is going to be thrown away. Number 15, Chase Campbell, tried to kick it over to his partner. Number 12, Brady Butler, and it's over his head and out of bounds. Right over the uh, Preg bench, and that'll be a turnover. Wide open Peyton Zell for three from the left wing. It's off the mark, but Tripp Davis is able to get up and put the tip right back in. And Preg extends the lead to the biggest of the game, up by 18. Jones will shoot the three from the right wing, and it's good. Tripp's going to drive in the middle of the layup. He'll throw up a floater. Does not go, but he's going to get fouled and a chance to shoot two free throws here with 5'11 left in the game. Kyler Henley, number 20, committing his first foul and the 14th foul against the Lions. Davis's first free throw goes in and out. Second one is off as well. Rebound uh, Campbell for the Lions. Oh, a big block by, uh, was that Nate or Eli that got him? As Bluston puts in a right hand. Well, Nate Lester, Eli Bias, one hit, <laughs> block that shot. Big time. Minshaw for three from the left corner, and it's good. Eighteen point lead is cut to fourteen now. Four thirty left in the game. Uh, give and go there between Tripp and Eli Bias. And it's stolen by number twenty, Kyler Henley, but they're gonna say he walks. And Coach Greer is gonna call a timeout. So four twenty one left in the game, Preg up fifty to thirty six. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. And we're back after the timeout with 421 left in the game. 
Davis down to Nate Lester who hit the uh, right-handed hook shot. Really high ball pressure by the Red Devils. That's going to be stolen mid court by Nate Lester. He'll kick it all the way down to Blustin Miller. The shot doesn't go, but he's going to pick up the foul. Number 15, Chase Campbell picking up the personal foul there as Blustin Miller gets to shoot two free throws here. His second personal foul and the 15 foul. Some of the McLeod coaches were over here saying that we shot 9 for 27 in the first half and then we shot 10 for 14 in the second or third quarter. So it makes a big difference in the score reflects so. Blustin misses the first and makes the second. 53 to 36 at the four minute mark left in the game as Preg's high pressing full court. Minshaw from way outside the three point line. He was probably six foot behind the three point line when he shot that one. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to sit somebody on him because he's not missing right now. And if he doesn't make the three threes in a row, Craig's up by like 20 plus points as Trip Davis drives in the middle of the lane. He throws a floater up that doesn't go. As there's a steal, Blustin Miller comes up with that one. He'll throw up a right-handed uh, layup that'll go. 55 to 39 is the score at the moment, 315 in the game. Uh, Eli Bias was trying to get the strip, but he ends up just like almost form tackling Jones down there, and I think they hit heads, and Eli will pick up his third personal. Second team foul of the half against Preg. Not many fouls in this game. I don't think anybody shot any kind of bonus free throws in this game. It might be the first one I've called this year that neither team has entered the bonus. And that's going to be a kickball by Eli Bias, preventing the pass down to Jones in the corner. Minshaw for three again from the top of the corner. We're going to have to stick somebody on him. He's, he, like I said, if it wasn't for him, Preg would probably be up 25 points here. 55 to 42 is the lead now for Preg with 238 left in the game. Nate Lester driving. He kicks it to Trip Davis, the kind of kind of little oop pass, but it won't go. Quick throw down to Jones on the other end as Eli Bias as Jones throws up a layup, and it's good. Leads cut to 11. And that's a quick steal by the Lions. Jones will shoot a three from the left corner, and he makes. Preg's running the clock down. Only, only up by nine as Lester will get fouled near the left block by Jones. Fourth personal foul on Jones. And that'll be the 16th foul committed against Lions as we have a timeout Chandler Lions with uh, a little over a minute left in the game. Preg leads 55 to 46. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching Pioneer. 
Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. And we're back for the closing part of this game. Again, Preg hanging on to a decent size lead up by nine. Minute 19 left in the game. Preg inbounding the ball. Number 15, Chase Campbell picks up a foul, and that's going to put Trip Davis shooting a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here as Preg is now in, well, Taylor's now in the, the single bonus. That's Campbell's third personal in the team, uh, seventh team foul against the Lions. This is where you got to win games right here. you got to make your free throws. As Tripp makes the first end of the one and one And he hits the second. Big free throws right there by the floor general. And Preg will get back into their half-court defense. Oh, that one's off. Uh, that's number 20. Kyler Henley with the shot that goes off the front of the rim. And Chandler will foul Nate Lester about mid-court with 59 seconds left in the game. Kyler Henley, number 20, will pick up the foul for the Lions. That's the 18th foul. And Nate Lester will shoot one and one here. As he makes the first. Oh, I've got the score wrong. He misses the second, but Blustin Miller gets the rebound. Preg will reset. They'll try to throw it around and waste as much clock as they can as the Lions are flying to the ball. And finally, Tripp Davis will be fouled midcourt by Marcus Minshaw, number 24. That'll be the ninth team foul, so the next one will probably be shooting two from here on out. Tripp Davis to shoot the front end of a one and one with 50.1 seconds left in the game. And it looks like Cameron Hightower will come in for Eli Bias. And number two, Jalen Smith will enter the game for Nate Lester, number 10. Trip Davis makes the front end of the one on one. 59 46 now, in favor of Prague. And Davis makes the second. And it looks like we're going to have a couple seniors coming in. Talon Martin, number zero, and Tristan Burdine, number five. They'll replace Trip Davis and Peyton Ezell. As Jones is going to drive in the center of the lane, he'll throw one up. <laughs> It won't go, but he'll be fouled on the shot. Foul's going to be called against number three, Blustin Miller, his second personal and only the third team foul against Preg this half. 43 seconds left. Jones to shoot two. Number 22, Zach Grooms comes in for number three, Blustin Miller. Oh, four seniors in, yeah. Martin tries to get it down to Burdine, and that's deflected out of bounds by number 20. Hindley. Oh, good pass by Jalen Smith over there. And Preg's just going to try to play keep away here. Burdine will be fouled by number 12. Brady Butler. So it looks like Preg is going to pull this one off as Burdine shoots two free throws here now. So it looks like we will play, the boys will play the winner of, the boys will play the winner of McLeod and Holdenville Thursday night at 520. Again, Thursday at 520, the boys will play the winner of McLeod and Holdenville. As Burdine misses the second free throw, rebound Hightower though, 20 seconds and counting left in the game. And it looks like Chandler's about done. 
nine seconds left. Now to be all, a really, really, really good second half by the Red Devils. Kind of bailed us out of this one because we didn't play very good the first half. And uh, even with us playing very good, Minshaw hit a bunch of big threes in the third and fourth quarter. But your final from Seminole, 60 to 47 in favor of Preg. And we will see you guys tomorrow at 640 as the girls play. Who do they play? You're supposed to know that, Trill. Let me look it up again. The girls will play McLeod at 640 tomorrow. So me and Trill will be here in Seminole coming live to you again. And good night, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.